welcome Tauruses this is the second week of September let's go in and see what is transpiring you have a clear essential so Archangel Raziel is here and Archangel Raziel notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance so um, you have the energy of burgundy red um, and the angel of Archangel Ragiel, if you're doing any studies, if you're trying to do an interview and that sort of a thing, it is going to be good in this week. All right, Tauruses, you are dealing with, you young Tauruses are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. So people between the ages of 18 and 20 and 50 is dealing with a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. Now, what we see is that I'm happening and transpiring. I see a long-term stability um, for you, Tauruses. Um, and uh, um, the energy of the Eight of Wands this week is going to go a very, very fast. Whatever is happening and transpiring in this week is going to be very fast. The Eight of Wands is here in uh, this week. Now, we have uh, the... Um, uh seven of pentacles and the energy of the pen, seven of pentacles is that changes is coming up for you tauruses so if you tauruses is in a relationship with a pisces cancer a scorpion person changes could be coming up in your relationship so young people between the age of 18 and 40 and 50 or 18 and 45 some sort of a changes is coming up if you have kids and uh, they are um um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, um, they are a couple. Um, you're going to be getting some sort of a news. So now, um, uh, with um, Saturn in Taurus, there is changes for you, Taurus. Um, that is going to be transpiring. Some of you, Taurus, is on uh, Wednesday, okay? But changes is coming up. Then we look at the situation of the Eight of Wands and the, the Three of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands energy has to do with some sort of a communication with a Sagittarian. Whoever the Sagittarian is, I see you Tauruses are communicating with this Sagittarian. The Three of Wands is that the Sun is not in Aries because um, you Taurus, uh, together with the Sagittarian, recognize uh, what Aries have uh, done. So... If you notice, the three of wands is in reverse, and this is the sun in Aries, so no success for Aries. Um, you Tauruses uh, stand strong against the Aries. They've um, found out what the Aries have done. The five of uh, swords is always uh, um, some sort of an Aquarian situation where um, Venus is not in Aquarius, and Aquarius is... Uh, um, there could be some sort of a problem at home with an Aquarius. Um, the energy of the Four of Wands is that there could be issue with an Aries and an Aquarius. Yes, so a Venus uh, is in Aries. So there is a strange situation that is transpiring because the Sun is not in Aries, but uh, a Venus is in, at the home front. Uh, there is love at home in the weekend. Um, some sort of a communication. Um, over the weekend, it's going to be coming in. Some sort of communication could be coming in um, from the workplace. Uh, but uh, um, at home, there is a whole lot of love for you, Tauruses. So um, Tauruses, the home front is uh, looking good in, in uh, this week, okay? So uh, not to worry about home and work in this week. Tauruses is looking good. But I see you're going to be finding out something about a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person. And that is not really good. So, Tauruses, let's see what is coming up. So, um, some sort of a news is going to be coming in. I see you, Taurus, could be um, giving someone some sort of a message. Um, what is this message all about? Um, whatever this message is all about, twice the energy of the five of swords, ladies and gentlemen. There is twice the energy of the five of swords, ladies and gentlemen. When twice the energy of the five of swords comes in, there is some sort of a news that you Tauruses is going to be delivering that is not going to be very positive. Okay, so I see that is coming up. You have it on Monday. 
And on Tuesday, you recognize uh, something about a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. And uh, um, you recognize uh, that this young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, whatever is happening, the Queen of Swords is here. Queen of Swords is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. And they're going to be finding out something about this Aquarian, Gemini, and Libra. Maybe it is uh, this person, mother, and how they come on their money. Some information is going to be coming out. So you, Taurus, is whatever is transpiring, you're delivering some sort of a message um, to a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. And I see their mother, okay, because this is a young person and their mother, or it could be your wife and their child. And it could be that you, Taurus, is, are delivering some sort of a message that, hey, um, I'm not going to be paying child support anymore or something like that, okay? Then on Wednesday, you're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. Whoever the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person is, they are going through some sort of a hardship. And they recognize some sort of a false play of uh, this older person. Now, this older man is like 50 years and older and uh, they recognize uh, something. So changes is coming up to, uh, between the relationship of you Tauruses and a older Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man. Um, because you are delivering some sort of information to this person. Is it your brother? Is it your father? Uh, is it a partner? Whoever this person is, you're really delivering some sort of information to this person. Then we see the energy of the four of one. So um, this week is a very, very positive um, at the home front, but also at work for you Tauruses and you Taurus women, some sort of a news. This is going to be positive if it has to do with work. You could be very, very busy, a whole lot of work. Uh, if you are self-employed, a whole lot of orders could be coming in uh, for you Taurus women. So that is good. So it is a fast going week and it is very fast because a whole lot of business, a whole lot of uh, business is going to be coming back to you Taurus women. OK, I see a lot of you Taurus is your wife. I have a lot to do or you have a lot to do in this week. Now, you Taurus is going to be happily uh, overcoming a situation that was going on. You're going to be leaving the situation behind. You have prayed to release yourself from a situation. And this situation, you are so happy that you've got out of the situation. The situation has to do um, with you moving forward. And you're very, very successful moving forward in uh, this uh, week um, it is a positive week for you, Tauruses. So go out there and enjoy this week because uh, um, you are going to be recognizing that uh, the energies in this week is going to be bringing you a lot of prosperity and it's going to be bringing you your wishes and dream. So you, Tauruses, whatever is happening and transpiring, you gave a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person. They're not showing up who they are. Um, some sort of a news. This could be um, a situation where it could be your father, it could be a husband, it could be a boss. But whatever you have uh, spoken about this person, it gives you success and happiness overcoming um, what this person could have gotten you in. Um, the energy of the Six of Pentacles is that some of you Tauruses or you're going to be receiving some sort of a help moving forward. You Taurus women recognize uh, that a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person and a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person was uh, very dishonest on how they come on their money. And so you ladies are now recognizing that uh, this young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person together with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person could hear some sort of a deceptiveness in order to get money. And they're not going to be recognizing this. So I see regrets, um, regrets for Aries woman, whoever this Aries woman is. A whole lot of regrets is coming up for this person. Um, regrets uh, for some of you Taurus women in a corporation institution. Uh, you Taurus women that work uh, in a uh, huge... Um, uh, into institution business, um, I see regrets. 
uh, cheerfulness is coming out because some sort of an information that um, came out is going to make you Taurus is happy and is going to be resolving um, some sort of a situation. And it is some sort of a communication as, a, as if you Taurus communicated something against a Sagittarian person. And by you communicating something, you become successfully um, out of a situation. So this is good. So um, when we look at the work, for the home front, some of you are going to be happy, um, happy if you um happy at work happy at home some of you women are going to be having some sort of a regret um and i see um some sort of a communication is coming at uh, you taurus uh, um but this communication is going to be good because uh, the communication is about a resolution is going to be coming in for some sort of a problem that some of you taurus is was having and whether it's at home or it was at the workplace. So, so if we look, we are seeing that you Tauruses um, could have delivered some sort of a message um, to a woman, a Aries woman at the workplace. It's coming up as an Aries woman or a Leo woman at a workplace. And I see this woman is regretting a situation, okay? Then when we look, some sort of a message about a whole lot of money, um, they now recognize that an Aries woman, a woman or a Leo woman have concentrate a whole lot of money or a Sagittarian woman. So it is coming up as an Aries woman or a Sagittarian woman or a Leo woman could have a, um, a took money on the false pretend. So I see you Taurus is, is now the scene where the money went and um, they're now recognizing that a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person together with an Aquarian, Gemini, or a Libra, an older woman. It could be a mother figure because this woman is like 50 years and older, the Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Or it could just an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. It's like um, you were in a relationship with this woman and this woman is very false. And it's a situation where this woman, you have to pay alimentation or so. And now you find out that this woman have a new love. So you are now shutting it down because you don't need to pay this money anymore. So some sort of a news is going to be coming in. And I see you, Tauruses, are giving the news, giving the news and letting people know that money that was missing, um, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion person was the one um, uh, that they and their mother or they and an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra person was the one who took this money. So I see regrets for an Aquarian woman. Huge regrets for an Aquarian woman because they're finding out uh, um, that your partner that is an Aquarian woman could have took money on the false pretend, okay? Or this Aquarian woman could have forfeit a situation and take a lot of money on the false pretend. So... Um, it is some sort of a communication that is coming in. And if you notice, you have this on Monday where you Taurus is delivering some sort of a bad news um, to someone because you found out what they have done. Here again, regrets because some sort of a communication came in about what uh, um, a Sagittarian have uh, done, okay? And the communication is uh, um, coming in. So some of you Tauruses could have been with a Sagittarian or could have worked with a Sagittarian, whoever this person is, uh, whatever they have done. Um, I see communication with you and this person. You're going to be setting, um, setting things in order and letting the Sagittarian know how far to go and uh, let the Sagittarian be aware um, that you are aware of uh, the co-creation between them and a gem and Aquarian woman to get a lot of money. Now, this woman is coming up as Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, but people are recognizing how false this person is. So truth is going to be revealed. And I see uh, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person was uh, looking for some sort of a help, but they're now recognizing that their wives... Uh, um, could have took money that was not there. So 
the full Sita is coming up for a young Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person and their mother that is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. Um, and also for a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion man. So they're now recognizing some um, thing that was going on and was happening. All right. So be aware. And when we get to the middle of the week, it's really a strong week for you, Tauruses. It is a busy, busy week. Busy week at work. A whole lot of business is coming up and Friday is going to be a good, good day. So when we look at um, Monday, you know, it's good for you, Tauruses, but it's not good for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, man. And um, when we look um, at the, the overall energy of this week, it's really a, a fast-paced week and it's, it's busy and it's fast. It's going fast and it's busy. And there is a lot of communication between you, Taurus, and a Sagittarian at the workplace, okay? Um, then we are looking um, at a, a Friday, a really pleasant happiness for you, but not for a Aries man. So I see this energy of the Six of Pentacles so, um, is very, the Seven of Pentacles is very important. It's a project, okay? So some of you... Um, uh Tauruses was working on some sort of a project uh, with um a, a Pisces cancer scorpion man. Um I see you recognize that this man was not very honest and you're going to be creating some sort of a changes. So um changes with at the workplace and moving forward. A lot of you ladies, Taurus ladies is going to be recognizing that an Aquarian Gemini or Libra woman is a fraud. Okay, and I see they recognize what a Pisces man have done, a Pisces man um, with a corporation institution. They're recognizing what this man have done. I see this man um, have a whole lot of problems to deal with and um, they're not recognizing and seeing the truth um, how this man have created a lot of uh, uh, problems for you or a lot of work for you, Tauruses. Okay, so be aware um at the workplace they're going to be finding out uh, something about this woman so if you work in an international company or you do international business uh, there is something that is coming out about a sagittarian and our company or a sagittarian that work in an international company and i see you taurus could be firing this lady because you're giving this lady some sort of a news and I see it is not really a positive, happy news. So communication is going to be coming out and you're going to be communicating a situation to a group of people. And you're going to be bringing in some sort of a resolution. So I see communication between you and a Sagittarian person, Taurus, is, is going to be bringing some sort of a resolution. And you're going to be successfully resolving a situation because I see you... Um, Tauruses are very happy that a situation is over. So whoever the spicy cancer or scorpion man is, um, I see sadness for this man. Mm -hmm. uh, some sort of uh, um, networking um, that some of you were doing. It could be at the workplace sadness. So now they're really, really recognizing how this honest a Aquarian Gemini or Libra woman is. Uh, and how this woman have formulated a situation. I see this woman is praying, but it is as if this is an Aquarian woman that some of you um, I were with, you divorced this person, this person had a new lover, but was still taking money, so be aware of this person. So um, uh, you have strong foundation, Tauruses, whatever is happening in Transpire. The foundation is strong. A lot of you Tauruses is going to be recognizing um, that a um, Sagittarian woman was uh, um, wasn't honest. A Sagittarian businesswoman or a Sagittarian woman that run a business or have a corporation institution or a Sagittarian woman you were married to or in a relationship with or it could be your mom was not um, very honest. So, Whoever this Aries is, they are now, people are now recognizing and getting so much details and information over an Aries. And you are so happy 
Tauruses that uh, um, people now recognize uh, what this person have done because um, it's as if they catch this this person and then you are not being released. Okay, so it's good have seen something that um, someone have co-created and they have been caught and you're now getting out. So I see happiness and joy. So it's a very busy week for you guys. There's no question about it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please remember to thumbs up, like, and share it, and whatever is happening in this week, call upon Archangel Razio, okay? Because sometimes we just sit there and hope for a miracle to happen, but if you don't ask for a miracle, it won't happen. I do love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste. Thumbs up.